everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we got into World 3, Area 3, and we discovered that we could not get any further without a S license and a certain program advanced to take care of those pesky protectors. In this episode, I will demonstrate a bunch of program advances I have found that might help us d deal with them. First up is Time Bomb 1, Time Bomb 2, Time Bomb 3, all in the Z code. With that, we get Time Bomb Plus. It does 500 damage, which should be more than enough to take care of everybody. Next is Curse Shield 1, Curse Shield 2, Curse Shield 3, all in the P code. This gives us Curse. You block an attack with the Dominard, and they fly out and start biting the enemy. A lot. Next is another Zeta class program advance. Ratten 2 in the J, K, and L code gives us Zeta Ratten 2. In addition to another style change, what do you know? This is the Aqua Custom style. I am not going to hold on to this, this is stupid. Next up, Cannonball in the QR and S codes gives us Zeta Ball. It is a breaking attack that does 300 damage and gives you 5 seconds of invincibility. Probably one of the best Zeta class advances out there. Next up, we have Spreader in the M, N, O, P, Q codes, giving us Mega Burst. It is a 10 hit attack that does 100 damage on the main target and 500 to everything else, I believe. A very good program advance for taking out bosses, but not much else. <coughs> Finally, Cannonball in the O, P, Q, R, and S codes will give us Omega Ball, which is Zeta Ball, but it lasts twice as long. Not bad, I guess. So with that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 out of 31 program advances mastered. Sweetness. But anyway, now that we've done that, it is also high time we got our triple S license, so we will be going over to the square to do exactly that. I'm the triple S license test examiner. You came to take the test, there are two problems. If you pass, I'll give you a triple S license, right? Problem number one, test your reasoning ability as a net battle. You'll need this ability in real missions to find answers from my clues. The test consists of the following. Find a Nefala person. The person is a character called the Navi Master, said to control all the world's navies. I'll provide you one hint. A signboard that smells of sea air. Based on this hint, you must deduce where to proceed next. If your deduction is correct, you will receive a new hint. Following that hint will ultimately lead you to the goal of this test, the Navi Master. A signboard that smells of sea air is this. Great jug beyond the four seaters. You're here, here to take the triple S license test, is that right? This is my passphrase, Big Bird Brain. Something's written here, the place overlooking different cultures. You're a triple S license test applicant, right? Here's my keyword, one of the coffins of things cast away from humans. Something's scribbled, kingdom in cyber forest, object in center of treasury. Must be an examining for a triple S license. Here's my keyword. Something that plays a sound. How did I miss that? You must be taking the triple S license exam. Here's my keyword. My natural parents. Got it? 
Lamp, Mega Man, I'm proud of you both for coming this far. I knew this was right. Come on out, Navi Master. We challenge you to a net battle. <laughs> you needn't call so loudly. Navi Master is already here. Where? Where? Land, you don't suppose... Well done, Mega Man. You figured it out. Yes, I, your father, and the Navi Master. I'm gathering lots of data on Navis for my research. Now, face me, Land. Oh, so that's it. But if I don't beat Dad, we won't pass the test. Okay, Mega Man, let's show Dad what we can do. Right! Go and get it! Survival battle against just about every na enemy Navi in the game. Oops. <laughs> Fail! <laughs> I fail so horribly at this game. There's no kill like overkill. Finally, Proto Man. Land, Mega Man, you've improved. I'm sure you'll pass. That was easy. But the next step is. But the next part of the test is a survival battle, and not just any survival battle. A 30-round survival battle. That being said, we are going to bring out our best stuff, and we'll be. And I'll be cutting here, so I have no chance of losing my recording because that would just be plain annoying. Anyway, uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's get started.
Oops. First hit of the first two hits of this survival battle. So far, this is pretty easy. Wouldn't you agree? <coughs> but now things are taking a turn for the insane, sort of. It's a good thing Gator can stand on the holes. It's a whole bunch of UFOs! Let's kill them. And quickly, before they can steal your chips. Because that is what UFOs tend to do. Gate man's gate soldiers are not affected by lava panels, so if you don't have a heat style, just go ahead and do this. Yard, we saw these guys in World 3 Area 3. That was probably a huge waste of a chip there. But whatever. We took them out in one turn anyway, so who cares, right? Stormbox, again, tricky if you don't have a heat style. I would highly recommend you take out the storm box first if you don't have a heat style. <coughs> it's just 
just a matter of dodging the other two viruses. Take out the vacuum fan so you don't get poisoned. Then you can take out the dominator just as slowly as you want. If you have a wood style, this is a great chance to recover all your HP. Two thirds of the way through, guys. Medallion A, Medallion H, Medallion W. Flappy 3 is one of my most hated viruses in the series. But again, with Gator, not much of an issue. You want to keep fishies and spikies away from the bombs. If the bombs get hit with a fire attack, they explode, as I've already mentioned a couple times before. But you can use that to your advantage and burn the bomb on their side as well. Sparknoid, definitely take out the Sparknoid. Handy threes, still pretty easy. Whoops, that was stupid. Matar is a joke. <coughs> Ratty 3s, try and take them out in one hit with Gateman if possible. If not, you are going to have a lot of problems. Oof. Like that. If it's just one of them, I wouldn't worry too much. Oops. Wasn't paying attention there. I hope I don't die here. About 27, that's probably not very likely anymore. there guys Try not to let those arrows hit you. Okay, final battle. Let's go. 
Hardhead 3s, want to take those out quickly. Redo. No! This is not turning out too well. Oh! 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 I just barely got them that time! Awesome! <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, we now have our triple S license, so I think it's time to call it an episode. If you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up top, give me a thumbs up down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2, and I will be seeing you later.